Got a bit of an update for you today after quite some time as the FTC and Warner Brothers Home Entertainment have reached a settlement following charges that the publisher paid YouTube creators to endorse Middler Shadow of Mordor without disclosure that they had been paid. Now, according to the FTC, in the fall of 2014, Warner Brothers enlisted YouTube's peoples, including PewDiePie and a fair few others as well, to promote Shadow of Mordor in a positive light. These influencers were paid thousands of dollars for their work, and of course were given advanced copies of the game as you'd expect. However, the video creators contracted by Warner Brothers were not required by the company to include language, basically saying that they were paid endorsements. So. Pretty much as you know now, it is pretty much required by the FTC, by law, to say, hey look, this is a paid endorsement or paid promotion or whatever. However, in this case, disclosures were buried deep within the description box, the FTC said in a statement about the settlement. And further, according to the FTC, the one of these videos lacked the disclosure entirely, it wasn't even there, but buried, it was just not there at all. And apparently Warner Brothers had ultimate approval of these videos, so it was down to Warner Brothers to know the law and say, look, you know, even if the YouTuber themselves wasn't aware of the appropriate disclosure or whatever, they themselves should have been like, okay, it needs to be a bit more prominent, or hey, it's missing on these videos. Now, of course, undisclosed sponsored content goes against the consumer protection guidelines of the FTC, which of course is what led to the investigation in the first place. So, following the settlement, Warner Brothers will now be required to make it clear on any Shadow of Mordor promo videos that they hired the YouTuber or content creator in question to create their content on their behalf, and that it's a paid promotion, etc. They also must comply with the FTC guidelines in any sponsored content in the future, and the FTC is also requiring Warner Brothers to monitor and educate influencers to ensure that they themselves are also aware and are adhering to the rules of the FTC. Now, while the FTC did refer to this case as the first in which a big company, or company at all, was charged for paying off people to promote its games, an earlier case, of course, was the one regarding Machinima, Microsoft and the Xbox One, which, you know, found Machinima facing similar complaints from the FTC. Which, you know, people were paid to promote the Xbox One in a positive light, upward of $30,000 at the time. I did a rather lengthy video on that at the time, if you're perhaps unaware of the situation. It is there all covered, but I'm sure you've heard all about it by now. So basically, this is only one of perhaps many disagreements, I guess you could say, or FTC crackdowns more appropriately over this sort of thing. Now, we're obviously going to be seeing less and less of it because perhaps a couple of years ago or whatever, people just weren't aware of what the FTC actually advised or what the law actually was, but now it's common knowledge that if you're paid to create a video on a thing or a piece of content, you should tell your viewers. It's not even just a case of the law, it's morals, at least in my opinion. Both these things are important. But now, since the FTC is really cracking down, you know, have got the Machinima case and now the Warner Brothers case, and potentially they could be going up against the Counter-Strike Go guys. They didn't say one or the other if they are investigating that, but they could, potentially. And there might even be others that will pop up that we aren't aware of right now. It just sends a message that, look, you got away with this for too long, now, you know, we can't do that anymore, basically. So, hopefully this is the end of this sort of shenanigans, but I kind of doubt it. But, um, you know, I'm fully willing to hope that, you know, people saying the FTC are actually really serious about making sure these rules are followed, that, you know, maybe they should follow them if, you know, if only to not break the law, if not for their own morals. But still, that's the end of this video, so thank you very much for watching. I'll see you next time.